For those of you who missed this week's episode of the Shadow Spark Chronicles, here's what happened. Quentin and Bishop head to the temple to speak with High Priest Cluster. Quentin informs him that a cure has been made and distribution will happen soon. It is discussed that the group traveled to Tanis Semprum and that the truth the people believe of the war may not be as straightforward as people were led to believe. The party regroups at the house and gathers everyone to head to Colton's airship. Colton, as smug as ever, grants the group passage and they travel four days to the city of Deerney. The cure seems to be working as they all start to feel better by the time they land. Upon departing the airship, the group are met by a cheerful halfling by the name of Gilly Shorthat, who claims to be the mayor. He is cheerful and very proud of this town, but has the group checked for any signs of the plague, and once satisfied, allows them to enter town. Justinian heads to the local blacksmith, while the rest of the group head to the tavern. They meet the owner, an elf named Cora Witherford, and learn a little more about the town. Rumors are currently being whispered about missing children. No one is really investigating it. After a few drunken brawls, the group decides to leave. The group meets up at the True Silver Temple and asks about the situation with the gods' disappearance, but find yet another dead end. The high priestess Yura Coldrock informs them that whatever evil lies in the mountain stays there. They have never had issues with the inhabitants of the mountain so far. When it comes to the missing children, she feels that the children have found an entrance to old pirate tunnels that run under the city and have gotten themselves in some trouble. She directs them to speak to Gilly again to see about access to those tunnels. The group then heads back to the airship for the night and are greeted by Colton. He asks Rift if he is interested in joining the Frost Reavers but finds him more interested in helping Oz. He then turns his attention towards Justinian and invites him into his quarters. Colton pushes hard into recruiting Justinian, but ultimately, Justinian holds off, explaining that his top priority is saving Oz's soul. Justinian then leaves Colton's quarters, and he and Bishop have a heartfelt conversation about past, present, and things to come. Bishop opens up to Justinian, about his struggles he's having with not reverting back to his old ways. They say goodnight to each other and await morning. Please join us every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as we continue with the ongoing adventures of the Shadow Spark Chronicles. And as always, we will see you in the dungeon.